All new tonight, Metro will be testing new signs this week. It's all an effort to make navigating the system easier. That means adding letters and numbers for accessibility. Lafont Plaza Station will be the first to get the new signs. That's where Daniel Hamburg joins us live tonight. And Daniel, even for experienced riders, knowing where you're going can be confusing sometimes. That's absolutely right, Chris. I take the red line most often. So when it comes to the green line, if you want to go north, for instance, you're going to need to need to head this way to Greenbelt. But if you're going south, you're going to need to head this way to Branch Avenue. The words north and south are not on these signs. That's unclear, but that soon will change to make it easier for customers to find the right platform. Navigating Metro's six color-coded lines may be easy for commuters who use it every day, but knowing where you're going can be confusing. Sometimes I get out on like these the stops and I'm like, I know which way to go, but then I'm like, all right, am I going out this way or am I going out this way? Then if I get out the wrong exit, then I'm like five minutes down the street. Metro is taking a page out of the playbook of other transit systems around the world, talking about adding numbers to existing colored lines to help those who are colorblind and letters to exits so it's easier to navigate. I think anything that makes it more accessible is going to be good. Instead of a sign saying the train is going to Greenbelt, it'll say it's southbound instead. At La Enfant, this sign will be changed to show the 7th Street Maryland Avenue exit is in the direction of the Air and Space Museum and VRE trains. I think that will be excellent because it give us more, it will give us, you know, people who have time to get on different trains. We won't be so crowded because people going in different directions. It's a help for locals and especially out-of-towners. That would be super helpful because right now to get to our building, we have to know the waving astronaut versus the plane astronaut, and so it's extremely difficult. Here at Lanfon. New real time designs showing stations ahead are coming this fall, and additional entrance displays will be installed this month. Now, Metro's board is meeting on Thursday to go over these changes here at Lanfon Plaza. These signs over here will start to change uh, in the coming days. There will be on site as well as online feedback forms so customers can give their reactions to these new changes. We're live at Lanfont Plaza Station. Daniel Hamburg, DC News Now.